So what, 2018? Are you gonna share the SIG pack luck or what? Bro, I would absolutely share the luck, but I, I just don't control that. So I've been grinding on my team for four years, and you're telling me that I can't pull a team SIG because of you? No, no, it's, it's not like that. Oh, so you must be hacking then, huh? I have never hacked the game before. Nah, bro, you got something shady going on with comp to us. I can smell it. Hey, I promise everything I do in the game is fair and square. I just grind, no hacking, nothing. Well, it better be because I'm gonna be watching you, buddy. Hello? Hello? Come to us? Yeah, I, I, I think they're on to us. I knew it! Okay, I'm just preparing myself in case we have another case of insanity going on in today's video. But let's do this. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. 2018 Fireballs here, back with another MLB 9 Innings 24 video. We're back with the Pittsburgh Pirates team today, and it's been a little while since I made a video on this team. It feels like it's probably been about a month. I probably have to check the date exactly when, but I think it's been about a month since this team has been in a video, and we still have our two gold team SIGs waiting for a great increase ticket. I have a good amount of SIG packs yet again because Comptoist just keeps dropping them in events and the shops like crazy, so I'm picking them up anytime I get the opportunity to. We're going to work on Garrett Cole's 2015 Prime pending if I get another team SIG. I've heard rumors that in the near future, probably end of this month uh, or beginning of August to middle of August, there's going to be a special store shop and I want to wait and see if there's a great increase ticket there because I have a good amount of stars that could probably reach uh, 10,000 or however much it, the great increase is probably going to be. It's probably going to be 10,000 stars. So I do want to hold off on buying a prime grade increase if I can get that regular grade increase ticket. But this is what the inventory looks like. Five sick player packs, two all stars. Uh, we got the league selective prime player pack from the pickup event that's going on for the rank tournament now, uh, but we're not going to be opening that either. We have a lot of team selected diamond packs as well as diamond player selectives. So let's get straight into this here. Not wasting any time. We have a lot of stuff to open up. So hoping we can get upgrade material and new pirates players this pirates team is still fairly young it's only a little bit over a year old it's at 107 overall already which is very impressive um, but ever since i started playing in 2018 team development has definitely changed and i've only started noticing that when i've stopped to think about it because usually i'm just grinding and grinding and grinding and playing all these game modes without even taking notice of things but i will say that it is a lot easier to build your team in today's uh, video game as far as this game is concerned it's a lot easier to build your teams in the game rather than how it was back maybe even like two years ago first time into the video we get a colorado rockies dj lemayhu believe this was his sophomore or rookie year so not the greatest one you'll ever see but still a very solid card we also just finished special training our dave parker signature that we pulled in our pirates live stream a couple of months ago at this point already but we are now working on mitch keller who is our 2023 uh starter in the rotation he's uh the year is 2023 he's fourth in rotation Irvin santana has a normal card which i did not know was in the game uh he does have a prime year so i'm guessing he got added back, so that's pretty cool. Let's do some special training since our player reserve is full. All right, back to premium player packs here. We have 30 more. Also guys, a new update literally just dropped the other night. Well, for you guys, it'll be the other night. For me, it was just this night that the update dropped. And a couple of new things got added. I don't remember exactly everything off the top of my head. There is an update notice inside the news on the home screen if you guys want to check that out. But I do know that something did get added to club. I believe it was crafting diamond. Um, 
trainer tickets something along those lines so that's pretty cool uh, a new special package was added there's a team select signature pack available for 69.99 at least in the usa which is uh, a pretty good deal and i might end up picking that up for my red sox team but it's uh i don't know if it's worth it on the red sox team as you guys know in the last red sox video oh boy was that the greatest thing that ever happened on that team or what? But I won't spoil it if you guys haven't watched it already. I'll probably leave it in the link in the description box down below. Let's do team selectives here though. And I think we have to do a little bit more special training to clear more space. And no diamonds out of this set. Can we get BD material or upgrades? Again, Clay Holmes multiple times. I always end up getting more than one of him in a Pirates video. Mitch Keller, I don't think I can use. Uh, Marte, I, I really honestly don't know who I can use here. Joel Hanrahan, I'm definitely saving in case I do get his signature. So we do have a couple of combos as well for SIG player pack or signatures if we do end up not pulling uh, Team SIG out of the five SIG player packs that we do have. We don't have enough space, let's do some more special training. All right, six ultimates. I'm going to say we don't get any diamonds this time though. Okay, I was wrong. We actually do get a diamond. Let's see how many we get. Okay, but that's that's insane. Again, something insane happens in every video. Four out of six. And mind you guys, the chances of getting a diamond, I think, are either 20% or 10% per pack. So that is insane amount of odds right there. Can we get a pirate? No pirates, but we do get a couple of decent cards, I guess. Marco Gonzalez, actually not that great, but that uh, Gregory Soto is actually okay, and Nick Castellanos for the Cubs back in 2019. Anybody come with good skills? Uh, Marco Gonzalez with decent skills, but they're low levels. All right, so well, that was a lot of diamonds out of six ultimates. Let's do diamond player selectives and see if we can get a prime. We do get a vintage, so I'll take that. First one right there, no other pirates. It's a Blue Jays Phil Henkin. A uh, good card for my Blue Jays team would be... Uh, actually, I don't think it would make my rotation because of my last team signature pull that I got, which was Marcus Stroman. He wouldn't be better than Ryu. So, good way to start off with those. Let's see if we can get more out of these. Uh, nothing out of this next draw. Let's see if we can re-roll and get a Prime or a Vintage or a Pirate. So, no Pirates yet again. Jose Bautista, 2015. I have his Prime on my Blue Jays team, but I'd love a 15 Bautista. I haven't pulled one yet. I'm going to take him just because he is the best card. Also, one more thing I forgot to say about the new update. Uh, it came to my mind when I was doing special training, but there is an option now to expand player reserves to 256 players. I like that Comp to Us is continuing to expand the player reserves, and they kind of need to, honestly, because the more that this game grows and expands and the more packs you're getting the more space you're going to need and it totally makes sense for them to do that i'm glad they did that i'm not going to spend stars like i said though because i'm saving for the grade increase hopefully that will drop next month i will be doing sig combos though it is actually double mileage at the moment so that's pretty nice let's do these teams like the diamond player packs pirates can we get any upgrades i really honestly don't even know who would be better on my team i could use a really good starling Marte. Marte 18 would be the best option mccutcheon i don't need let's see who we get though and what do you know i just spoke it into existence Marte 18 right there perfect he has a prime for this year so hoping i don't pull his prime um if i do i hope i get it really soon so i'm not that way i haven't upgraded this one yet other than that though holderman i don't think is going to make a cut garrett cole i already have that prime O'Neal cruz not good enough and the rest is pretty garbage so only good thing really there was Marte and no good skills so i'll take that right there we hit success on the Marte, spoke that into existence. Uh, we could honestly use some bullpen help though, so I'm gonna go bullpen uh, pitcher with this, ho hoping for a bullpen arm, I could get a starter. But a great bullpen piece, a vintage bullpen guy would be really good. Melanson is no longer in the game and I'm so glad I have his signature. This is a guy I've never heard of before, he must have just got it added, added back into the game. Nick Birdie, uh, 2020 card. Never heard of him before, and probably because he's not that notable. Uh, but let's do all-star player packs now. We have two of them. No longer do we have that all-star hit event. It has ended since the all-star game, uh, or that week that the all-star game happened has passed. Any pirates here? Again, no team cards, but two different years again. Uh, Goldschmidt from 2015, had a good year for the Diamondbacks. And Miguel Sano in 2017, had a good year for the Twins. All right, now we're on to the special packs or specifically signature player packs here five of them i got two diamonds out of three in the last one can we see any diamonds out of these five all right 
didn't expect it didn't get it that's totally okay i really wish i could get a diamond pirate though because i really lack a grade increase we'll see if we can do that during combos or if we get a team card here but let's open all the silvers first first one on the far left a max scherzer 2022 new york mets card i have pulled this one before and like i've said uh, in the past max scherzer very consistent has consistently good years and all his cards are at least a 73 base or higher next one in the middle is a seattle mariners cal raleigh i would really like this on my mariners team but i can't complain my mariners team i did dupl duplicate a brett boone there hoping for a club craft on that soon right side silver is a kansas city royals jason vargas he must have just got it added, added back as well because he's not been playing for a while he, this was an all-star year for him as well so i believe he does have an all-star card for the royals this year a lot of wins uh, also a decent amount of losses but uh, Vargas was an okay pitcher for a while. Far right silver is... <laughs> Three times, guys. Third time in the last month. This this is ridiculous. I I And that is a trash sig. Oh my goodness, 62 base. I have Josh Bell's 18. You you guys saw him in the lineup. This is impossible, guys. I have n I I my mind is breaking right now. So Mariners team, we duped Brett Boone's only SIG year on my free-to-play Mariners. On my free-to-play Dodgers, we duped the exact same Jock Peterson 19, and he has two years. And now on my free-to-play Pirates team, not more than two weeks later, I have duped Josh Bell. I don't know what to say. And it's his worst card ever. Like literally the worst Pirates card you can get as a signature. Well, I'm going to say that's a good thing. I, I'm, I'm just like, don't get me wrong, guys. Whenever I act like this, I am not mad. I am just like, oh, I'm, I can't get over the fact how insane this is. That is 15 team sigs so far this year. And I want to re restate what I said last video on the Red Sox team. It wasn't 14 team sigs in the last three months. It, it was past six months. I do apologize for misquoting that or misstating that. Now it's 15 team sigs in the last six, seven months, six or seven months. That is crazy. And we could get another one from combos, but sorry, I keep delaying. Let's do the gold on the left. We get a San Diego Padres, Craig Kimbrell. Guys, comment down below. How, how on earth is this possible? Let's do some sig combos now. Okay, guys, here we are with SIG combos. We have at least two of them pending another Pirate SIG, but I'm I'm just waiting for the day we don't pull another one. How many videos is that in a row, by the way? I can't even tell. Anyway, sorry about rambling on again. Kimbrel, Raleigh, and Vargas. First one, we're going to do it here. Three, two, one. We get a another Seattle Mariner, Super Pat the Boss, if you're watching this. I did see your last video, and I know you got this exact same Chris Flexen. Uh, so we do get two Mariners trolls in this video. Whoops, that's not right. I don't think I'm in the chat. Am I? I think it's delayed or something, but we get that Chris Flex and I'll just look at it inside the lineup so you guys can see what he looks like here. Not the greatest SIG, 69 base. Would be a nice rotation piece though. Any team SIG that is not a duplicate works. And I, I still can't believe we've been duping team SIGs. All right. Last combo of the day, we got Molly, Scherzer, and Flexen. Can we get another pirate back? Three, two, one. We get Chuck Knobloch for the Minnesota Twins right there. 1996, one of the best overall cards in the game as far as batters go. 74 base overall. But guys, someone explain to me what is going on. This is absolutely ridiculous. 
I, I, I don't even know how to explain this in words anymore. At this point, I'm, I, I, I just want to be silent. I can't say anything. Like, the amount of Team Sigs is off the charts. Like, if, if, if the Richter scale measures an earthquake, then the scale for measuring how many Team Sigs I got, if they were equated on the Richter scale, it would be like a, a 50 a 50.5 magnitude uh, of, of intensity because this is insane this is nowhere like you will never see this in history i i'm definitely saving josh bell 20 for a craft uh let me know if i should craft my josh bells and get another card or something because i don't know what to do at this point guys i i, I can't afford a grade increase right now and i i this is ridiculous, that's all I can say. If you guys did enjoy this video, please leave a like down below, hit share and subscribe. Feel free to follow me on Instagram, Reddit, and social media down below. I leave those links in the description box as well. There's also links to other MLB 9 Innings YouTubers in the description box. I know they would appreciate your guys' support. I know you guys would enjoy their content, so feel free to go ahead and check them out. But I'm going to go to bed. It's late at night again, and yet another day, guys. Another Team Sig, which is great. And uh, will this luck continue we'll see in the next video but god bless you guys jesus loves you all i'll catch you guys next time